So as you have seen in today's video, I'll be sharing the recipe of five different types of alu bharta or you can call it Indian style mashed potatoes. Very different flavors and all are simple and basic ingredients that are available in our kitchen. So try this recipe when you want to have something different with a star that's the potatoes hey guys i'm subhankari and i welcome you all to my channel so spoke corner english and i hope you all are doing great in your lives if you are new to my page to subscribe to my page and do not forget to tap the bell button thank you all for loving my channel so much and liking my videos so much so let's begin with this awesome recipes so i'm going to share five different kind of recipes so here's the first type for the first recipe i have taken a ball and to this i'll add thinly sliced onions around two tablespoons and here I have fried dried red chilies. Uh, according to your taste, you can increase or decrease the quantity in mustard oil. And these fried chilies, dried red chilies, they are super crunchy now. This goes to these onions. And to this, I have added salt. It's always according to your taste. And now, wait for a few seconds till this uh, chilies cool down a bit in one or two minutes. Then you can use your hands to crush them. If you're not comfortable, you can use a masher. But uh, if you can also use gloves, it's completely upon your choice. Here, as you can see, I have nicely crushed and mashed this red chilies with onions and salt. This will actually impart very nice smell and flavor. So to this, I'll add raw mustard oil around one tablespoon. And here I have taken boiled and peeled potatoes around three. Uh, this recipe is for two persons. Each recipe is for two persons. Accordingly, you can increase or decrease the quantity. So this, I'll mash it. Roughly I'll mash it because again we are going to mix it. So after adding the potatoes, I'll add chopped coriander leaves around 2 tablespoons. This will give a dash of nice freshness. Just mix everything and adjust salt according to your choice. And first type of delicious alu bharta or Indian style mashed potatoes is ready. Quick and simple recipe. Second type I'm going to share this too is also very quick but in this recipe I'm not using any onion garlic so in a bowl I have taken three medium size of boiled and peeled potatoes and to this I'll add black salt it's around half teaspoon or accordingly you can increase or decrease the uh, amount chopped coriander leaves two tablespoon and I have heated two tablespoon of dry fried butter or ghee and to it I have added two to three dry chilies make sure it's nice and hot and pour this on the fresh coriander leaves that will give a very nice flavor some roasted cumin powder and half teaspoon goes in wait for one to two minutes it's very important because it's quite hot the tempering we had poured it was quite hot so wait for one to two minutes before crushing these chilies in this way uh, when we crush these chilies the hot ghee that we had poured will do the trick give everything a mix and a nice bharta without onion garlic is ready simple easy and delicious bharta enjoy this with steamed rice or you can also make it as a stuffing for sandwiches third i'm going to share a very nice recipe for here i have taken a nice motor and pressa garlic two cloves i add and one green chili goes in crush them nicely because this will give a different type of flavor crushing is very different from making puree so my garlic and green chili is nicely crushed you can see so this is ready this will be the base of this uh, type of bharta the third type of bharta so here in a bowl i have added that three three medium boiled and peeled potatoes this goes in nicely i'll mash it this goes in and to this i'll add salt around half teaspoon and make sure you're gonna add some black salt so initially add white salt a little bit less and chopped coriander leaves two tablespoon raw mustard oil one tablespoon and lemon juice goes half a teaspoon now give everything a mix the lemon juice will add the perfect drink to this recipe and our third type of mashed potatoes is ready let's prepare for the fourth type for the fourth type we just need to do a little more preparation Two tablespoons of mustard oil I'll heat in a pan, wait till it starts to smoke and add cumin seeds half teaspoon and once this cumin seeds starts to temper that will give the flavor for this bharta. Chopped green chili goes around two to three again it depends upon your taste few curry leaves this will splutter nicely and that will actually increase the flavor of this tempering. So few curry leaves goes in and to this reduce the flame after adding curry leaves and finely chopped garlic goes around one teaspoon roast this garlics with this green chilies and the curry leaves for around one to two minutes on medium flame and after that to this i'll be adding onions these are finely chopped onions around one medium size onion i had taken and some salt around half teaspoon i'll add and some latter also i'll add now give everything a mix 
actually this onions needs to just sweat we don't want golden fried onions or crunchy onions nothing like that just we will wait till this onion starts to soften and once this onion start to soften we'll add some beautiful tomatoes this type of bharta or mashed potatoes can be also used for filling of sandwiches wraps states really good this onions have nicely softened you can see and at this stage i'll add the tomatoes around two medium sized tomatoes and after adding the tomatoes increase the flame we need to saute this onions in high flame for around four to five minutes because we don't want this onions to be pureed we want this onions to be still intact and yet they should be soft this will take around three to four minutes on high flame as you can see in my video the small slices of tomatoes pieces of tomatoes are still intact yet they have turned soft here you can see here but this is what we want because when we use this to make the mashed potatoes that tits and bits will add flavor and texture a lot to our recipe now this is done and after three to four minutes of frying these tomatoes in high flame i have added three medium sizes of potatoes these are nicely boiled and peeled i have mashed them and then after frying for two to three minutes i'll add some coriander leaves and i can just salt accordingly and now give it a mix and a delicious nicely tempered alu bharta is ready and the final type i'm going to share is a very simple one so for this i'll take in a bowl and two tablespoon of thinly sliced onion goes in finely chopped garlic two cloves i have taken and one green chili i have taken some salt i have added and now i need to crush this green chili to mix with this onions and chopped garlic and nicely mash it with your hands if you're not comfortable you can always use gloves as per your choice some chopped coriander leaves goes in and to this i have nicely heated some mustard oil this is smoking hot carefully add this to this toppings of coriander and onions this will give a very nice aroma wait for around one to two minutes because it is really hot and then i'll add the potatoes three medium sized potatoes peeled and some red chili flakes goes in a half teaspoon and carefully once it cools down give it a mix with your hands so you can again mash if there is any uneven pieces and our fifth type of alu bharta or indian style mashed potatoes is ready so these are the five different types of beautifully flavored alu bharta or you can call as i am calling indian style mashed potatoes every recipe is different with unique flavors and also i have shared one recipe that's without any onion garlic these recipes are very versatile can be consumed with steamed rice roti parathas and the best part is that i often use some of this uh, recipes of alu bharta or mashed potatoes to stuff my wraps or make tikkis or make sandwiches this can be very handy so next time when you want to try something different of mashed potatoes try this one of these recipes we love the flavors and now it's time for the comment of the day and today's comment is from raghunath prashad trifathi he has written thank you ma'am for classic street style recipe thank you so much raghunath that you have commented on this recipe he has actually commented on the recipe of classic street style chaat typical indian flavors with the typical indian look we have enjoyed the authenticity of this recipe thank you for commenting on my post stay safe and stay connected and for today's recipe that's five different types of mashed potatoes in indian style with the very peculiar flavors try this you are gonna love all the recipes you can also follow source food corner english on instagram and facebook and if you have liked today's video do give a thumbs up share with your family and friends and do not forget to subscribe to my page see you in next video till then stay safe love life and happy pudding